A circle can be a lot of fun, but it's useful too, as you'll soon see. Let's review a little bit now. If you remember, a prime number is a counting number that has exactly two factors, one in itself. An example is the number three. It has two factors, one and three. A composite number has more than two factors. For example, the number 12 has factors of one, two, three, four, 6 and 12. Take a good look. Do the numbers 3 and 12 have any common factors? That is, do they share any of the same numbers? This is where the circle can be mighty useful. A Venn diagram has two or more overlapping circles. It is often used in mathematics to show relationships between groups or sets of numbers. The factors of one number go on the outer portion of the left circle, and the factors of the other number go in the outer portion of the right circle. Any common factors are brought into the overlapping section of the two circles. As you can see, the numbers 3 and 12 both share the factors of 1 and 3. Now we can look at something a little more complicated. Let's compare a set of numbers and a composite number. In this case, we need to look at all prime numbers less than 20 on the left, and the composite number 30 on the right. The prime numbers less than 20 include 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, and 19. The factors of 30 include 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 10, 15, and 30. As you can see, the common factors are 2, 3, and 5. Are you ready for some practice? Label the left circle prime numbers less than 15 and the right circle factors of 21. Place all the prime numbers less than 15 into the left circle and all the factors of 21 into the right circle. Don't forget that any shared numbers will go into the overlapped area of the two circles. How'd you do? Prime numbers less than 15 are 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, and 13. Factors of 21 are 1, 3, 7, and 21. The shared numbers are 3 and 7. These should be inside the overlapping area. Uh-oh! I knew I should have brought an umbrella.